okay uh, I'm going to create a, a, a drawing for chapter 6 tutorial 4 we have already created a solid model and I will uh, go to new and then start with a drawing and then we give a name called chapter uh, 6 and dash tutorial tutorial 4a and and then we need to create come up with empty with format so we can come up with a size of a paper called eight and a half by eleven or a size paper so now we are in the area of drawing or 2d layout or we call it orthographics projection or multi-view projection so this is the eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper so the best thing is to start with a general view and then we say no combined state okay then we can click somewhere on this sheet of paper and then we're going to change the 3d solid models to 2d by clicking on front view now we're going to change from the let's just remove all the datum plane because we don't need them okay those are the other datum plane by clicking on this filter you can toggle back and forth and turn the filter on and filter off so now we double click on this window we go to view display a follow environment hidden and then change the tangent edges display to none so we don't want that to display tangent edges apply so we say okay now we can just right click inside the front view box and we say projection view so we move it up so that's our projection view and uh, if if this is locked because we want to move it if it's the view is locked we can right click inside the front view box and we say unlock the view movement so we can move them to different locations so we have a space for dimensioning and so on okay so next we double click on here we say view display follow environment hidden and default none okay now we have two uh, the uh, drawing apply okay uh, all right so so there we go so we have 2d drawing or orthographics and uh, we need if we wanted to create um, um, a isometric we go general okay and we can place the isometric on the upper right hand corner and just like that okay all right beautiful so this is our isometric that's a 2d but we want to create a 2d section view a full section for the given the top and the front view of this solid models here so i'm going to turn the plane back on because that's important to have the plane on and i'm going to double click on the front view because we want to put a cross hatching on that view called the front view and i'm going to go to sections 2d add and i'm going to create new to show you that so we have a, a, a windows open i'm going to just bring it up here so you can see it planner single we say done uh, done and now we're going to give a name for our section view we can say uh, section x for example okay section x so that's the name and then it says which plane which plane you wanted to cut we're going to cut through um because i i moved them so it just for some reason disappeared um okay uh, let me just uh, okay all right so uh thank you so we, we want to click on on this plane here on orthographic so we wanted to go back so what happened to the uh, i want that plane again all right so which one is that, that okay plane but i need to click on the plane and that's the plane okay so um then we say okay and uh, um, default okay i think we need to go back to the orthographic okay we need to go yes i wanted to cancel that 
let just let me just do this again okay and you want to quit the sketcher no and let me just move here it says 2d add okay so we have create new and then we have single done and then we call it x and this is check I should have not moved this around okay so it says which plane we're going to click on the plane here see that here it says green it's showing as a you know color changes to green and now here it says x is good and then we have plane and which which view we're going to click on this view to display uh the um because we repeat it two three times that's why it's not doing it okay so what i will do is I'm going to repeat that again okay so I'm going to click on here because it did not like this the things that we did section 2d add okay okay it's a little bit slow okay so we say here and then we go all the way to the right arrow arrow is going to be on that one apply okay now we have a section view okay we have a section view bless okay so we can just do this and we can just adjust what we call that the cutting plane line you can move them sometimes it's just not easy okay okay no problem so what we wanted to do is just move this out of the way okay move this out of the way let's change this to no hidden okay we go view display no hidden because we don't want that to be it's a little bit slow yeah okay. mm -hmm. view display and then no hidden and we are happy with that and if you wanted to uh, reduce the spacing between the section lining you go to spacing you go half and then you say done okay done so that's what we have and next we're going to create a center line or we're going to add center line not create we go annotate and then we go to the symbol here for uh, creating a center line and all we need is the one that we need is a center of the circle okay we're going to just pick well, let me just pick these two three four five and we say apply okay a little bit better this okay and all right apply okay then we go to this window here we do the same thing one two three four five we slide and we say apply okay apply and then cancel okay so we got all the center line under control everything is there now the next thing is to dimension it okay we can do the dimensioning we can do the manual dimensioning for example if you wanted to dimension from center of this hole i could zoom it a little bit here um uh, okay see it is a little bit i think there is a delay okay okay that's better so we go from center of this hole control to that hole and then we position it but let me just do that again dimension uh, from this line control that line so that should be uh, whatever that dimension is it's supposed to be really 50 okay it's 50 250 so we're going to just change that to 250 um, and then we have the um, dimensioning for counter bore hole so I'm going to dimension this double click to dimension this diameter of the circle we double click on here and bring it up here we position it and then if you wanted to um, um, reverse the arrow we say flip arrows which is that so next we're gonna double click on this here go to display and then we're going to put down uh, a cursor you know next to at d and then hit enter so then we go to text symbol and that text symbol we're going to use the board diameter 
so that's a bore and that's a diameter and the diameter for the bore is 100 oops that's a thousand it's a 100 and then we press enter and we say how deep that is probably gonna enter 20 so we say this is done close and we're done with this ANSI standard dimensioning for counter bore hole now if you wanted to dimension this circle here we can go to double click on this circle here we go double click to get the diameter for the circle and then we can say um, uh, that you know also we wanted to dimension um, the, the this circle here so that radius is fine okay radius of that 75 and if you wanted to uh, flip arrows we can just click on the flip arrows so it's going to do that and then we can just give the dimension let me see if i can zoom it a little bit okay so we just stuck okay probably okay yeah that's better so if i wanted to dimension from this point from this line control to this line and then we have that dimension which is important we wanted to know where the center of the of these holes are so we can just uh, take care of this a little bit okay we'll move on to the side that's cosmetic so we want to make sure that those are all done correctly and then we have a radius of that circle we're going to position that there and then we have the another radius here and or we can put them on on this side here okay so and if we wanted to i think that's about it okay those are all dimension all the dimension that we need and i think that i hope this was helpful okay all right let's see so, okay and then we so 